What's up, Bot Bot fans? Toy Insanity here. This is Transformers Tuesday featuring the Bot Bot Series 2 Round 6. This is my first look at any of the single packs. So I found these this week at Target. Actually, the same Target that I got the 8 packs and 5 packs. And, you know, I guess I was just late to the scene. Because they only had four left. Uh, concerning Series 1, I was able to purchase the full case. And that was really useful. And a case I think was 24, but... Hey, someone beat me to 20 of them. We got four to look at today. Now, if it's following the pattern of Series 1, the packs are coded, but the codes tend to go with more than one character. Now, it's my suspicion. I haven't gone back and confirmed this in hindsight, in retrospect, in the video, but I think maybe certain codes get you the exclusive ones. And I guess that's Hasbro's new thing. It's like, we'll, we'll give the consumer a little bit of a heads up, but we're not going to do a one-to-one -one correspondence. I don't understand why they can't just put a one-to-one -one pack code. But I got this one. It says 90661. Code's right here where my thumb is. 90661 to the same code, and then this is 90671, 90781. So 90781 in this example gets me one I already have. This guy is in the Apex. And his name was Brain Freeze in Series 1. I'm not nearly excited, as excited about Series 2 as I was Series 1 because there's so many of them that are just repaints. But he's called Atomic Freeze nowadays. And he is a part of the Spoiled Rotten's gang. Also, this idea, 190 plus in 2019... Who does that serve? That's such a weird way to, to do the collect them all number. And this checklist is such a mess. I might actually be more excited about this set if it was a reasonable... I'm not just saying a reasonable size set, but a reasonable looking checklist. This is ridiculous. I mean, they're not numbered. They're not in clearly marked factions or squads. Some of them don't... I mean, some of them, they don't show the convert... I'm not trying to say they should show both beast mode and, like, household item mode. But they should be a better image than just... I mean, is, is there really a ham hock? Transformer. This is the. I think this is the worst checklist I've ever seen in a toy line. And remember, there's 190 in 2019. So feel free to count these on your own to see how many are in Series Two. Series One was 61. Series Two is probably 61. What a weird number. Ugh. Not happy about getting a duplicate on my first pack because I was really hoping a bunch of the one. I mean, look at my prior videos. Got so many duplicates in those eight packs and five packs. So I was really hoping when I finally found them single packs, I was just going to bang out all kinds of ones that I didn't already have. Here's another duplicate. I mean, not only is it a large set, it's not clearly marked with a nice checklist. But they, they're compelling you to get so many duplicates. It's one thing to say, hey, our set's 60. Here's how you get it. You get these 8 packs, these 5 packs, these single packs. Boom. You don't have to get any duplicates. Thank you for the money. Thank you for collecting them all in our large set. 
But no, each series you end up with more duplicates than the actual set itself. This guy's called Ollie Bite. Speaking of bites, the ants are killing me. One of those days. Uh, thank you for joining me. Okay, here's a new one. It is a repaint from Series 1. And this is one of the two that had the code 90661. Alright, this guy is called Mus Turd. He was a ketchup bottle in Series 1 called Bottle Farts. So I do think it is kind of cool we had the ketchup bottle and the variant is Mustard Bottle. And they're both in the Greaser Gang. A lot of, time, a lot of these repaints, they're in totally different factions now. Like the school bag was in... Series 1, it was in the school supplies, but then they made him a tool bag, and of course, now he's in the shed heads. In Series 1, there was a hockey puck, who was like with the, you know, the gym sports supply guys. And then in Series 2, they made him a speaker. One of these little portable speakers. So it's the same sculpt. Here, he transforms to a hockey puck into a robot dude. And here he transforms into a speaker. So totally different factions, totally different squads. This is the first time seeing an image of the Greaser Gang for Series 2. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six of them. It's definitely a Target cup. <laughs> Shout out to Target. That's where I've been getting all these. And it's just lovely seeing two Transformers dabbing up there. Transformers G1 Classic Collectors. Did you ever think you'd see a Transformer dabbing? Last pack. It's a different dude with that same code. This is the last one I needed for the Shed Heads. So check it out. The first two had unique codes, but they were ones I already got in the other pack types. There's an ant on my ear. Explain that. So, two different ones with the same code, 90661. These were both ones that I didn't get in the other pack types. I think it stands to reason, and it might be useful to have this code number, because I think this code might get you the ones that are unique to the single packs. Same code, but two different figures, two different characters, both of which I didn't already have. This is the... Power Sander, redone, repainted for Series 2. He's now called Sandy Man. And from my other pack types, since the Shedheads were a faction exhibited in the 5 packs, I do have those other guys. And let's see, that's Spots on the Rock. He's a rock. We get the Drill Guy. This is Laundry Detergent. And honestly, I, ha I can't remember what this guy was. Tape measure? And there's the Sandy Man. I'm Tony Sanity. Thank you for checking out this video. Check out my Transformers playlist for all the other BotBots videos. Thank you for the thumbs up. Smash that like button. Thanks a bunch. And uh, hopefully I'll see you next week with some more single packs. Take care.